How would you like to see some stones float? Let's try this one. Over to the bowl of water. Oh, sinks. Well, let's try a smaller one, maybe a different colour. Nice little red one there. How do you think that'll go? You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Over to the bowl and sinks also. Well, you're probably saying, of course it does. I tell you I can make stones float and you say that's impossible. <laughs> Can I make stones float? Well, we didn't have much success with those two. I think I can, provided I choose the right kind of stone. And I've done that already. Flat ones, very flat stones that are also very, very thin. And what I'm going to do with these is to make a kind of a boat out of them. First of all, I'll get a bowl, and then I'll start placing the stones inside the bowl. Actually, if you know anything at all about boats, you probably know that sometimes they are made from materials that are very, very heavy, like steel or even concrete, as the hull of this yacht. But provided they have inside them lots of air, then overall the whole thing may be less dense than water. Then it'll float. And that's what we're trying to do here. I'm building up a kind of a jigsaw puzzle of stones. You'll notice that I'm trying to place them fairly close together. There are still holes between them and cracks between them but I'm trying to make those as small as possible. And then you can see the problem will be to somehow or other stick those bits and pieces together. We'll need some sort of glue. What sort of glue can we use to stick them together? Maybe you're thinking of a material that'll do it. All sorts of things you could use. I'm going to try plasticine. You might be saying, oh, that'll be cheating because plasticine may be lighter than water, maybe less dense than water. Maybe that'll help. Well, we'll soon test that out. So there's our little boat, almost complete. All we have to do now is to fill in the gaps with plasticine, but we better check and see that this will float while it's in the bowl. Make sure that we haven't got too many stones. So we place that in there. Stones plus air plus bowl floats. What about plasticine? Well, plasticine is not less dense than water. In fact, have a look at this. It is much denser than water. It's a kind of clay. But if I put a big blob of plasticine in the centre of our little boat, we find that it still stays up. So now comes the difficult part, sticking all the stones together. Several ways you can do that. One is to take little bits of plasticine and to wedge it between the stones, filling in the air spaces. That takes a long, long time. There's a quicker way. First of all, flatten out some plasticine into a sheet like this, and then place it over your stones and slowly but surely press it between the cracks, between the spaces. And after about 10 or 15 minutes, you'll find, if you do it carefully, that you have a boat made of stones. So that's the last of the plasticine pushed into the cracks and between the spaces. Let's see if it floats. Take it out of the bowl and very, very carefully bring it over to the water and lower it gently in. And there you have it, stones floating in water.